There is a silent and invisible killer on the prowl and it's lurking in hospitals worldwide. For many sick patients who find themselves hospitalised with hopes of getting better, the last thing they'd expect is to acquire a new infection during their stay. Unfortunately, this is the bleak reality faced by millions of patients each year who end up with hospital infections caused by hospital superbugs. These superbugs are bacteria that have become resistant to many types of antibiotics and are notoriously difficult to eradicate. By now you'll have noticed the graph and the lack of accompanying labels. And this is because the graph actually represents one of several recent and worrying trends. An increase in the number of patients with hospital infections. An increase in the number of deaths caused by hospital superbugs and an increase in the billions of dollars already spent by the health sector to try and keep these superbugs at bay. But today, I'll be speaking about yet another increasing trend, and that is the rise of a superbug called VRE. VRE, short for vancomycin resistant enterococci, are bacteria that causes several types of infections, ranging from the relatively mild intra-abdominal and urinary tract infections to the more severe and often life-threatening heart valve and bloodstream infections. My research focuses on understanding the VRE situation at one of Victoria's major hospitals, which had experienced a significant increase in VRE infections in recent years. The majority of these infections were caused by one of two distinct VRE types, the ST17 type VRE or the ST203 VRE strains. While the ST17 type dominated earlier on, it's actually the recent emergence of these ST203 strains that are responsible for the overwhelming majority of these infections. So my PhD aims to understand how these ST203 strains have emerged and what are the key differences between the two groups that have allowed these ST203 strains to become more super than the ST17s. Now, take a look at the person sitting next to you and you'll see an obvious difference in your appearances. This difference arises not just, because of your, not just because of how you dress or how you groom yourselves, but because of your DNA. Just like how there are DNA sequence differences that set you apart from the person next to you, there are also DNA sequence differences that distinguish the ST17 from the ST203 VRE strains. And it will be finding these differences in my PhD that will be the key to understanding and addressing the rise of VRE. Superbug numbers are on the rise, and in this war we fight against them, <coughs> DNA-based research like mine is crucial for scoping out the enemy. I hope that research like mine will one day reverse the trends depicted in this graph, where we'll see a decline in the costs, but more importantly, a decline in the number of infections and deaths caused by these killer superbugs. Thank you.